This is just a very brief video just showing the overview of a interlock system installed. Uh, this was installed by a local professional electrician. I do not claim to be an electrician and do not want to even begin some of this work. So I pay somebody uh, that knows exactly what they're doing, a little bit of money to come in and do it right for me. But just wanted to go over this. Uh, this is my uh, your typical Square D interlock, or actually Square D panel. Uh, I had the interlock system, which was specially ordered just for this particular uh, electrical panel. Uh, I don't have any of the specific terms. Once again, I'm not a electrician, not a licensed electrician. I don't claim to know a lot about electrical work, uh, but I just wanted this done right. So that uh, I live here in Florida, so when the power goes out uh, during hurricanes and, not, and what have you, I just wanted to make sure that I've got some electrical power here. So basically, I have purchased a Generac generator. It is 10,000 starting watts and 8,000 continuous watts. So I live in a relatively small condo, so that should power pretty much everything that I need. It'll give me my fans, my refrigerators, TVs, Wi-Fi, all the, all the necessities there. But basically what this is, it had the uh, electrician come in. He needed access to these uh, top two breaker areas. So basically everything had to be shifted down uh, to in order to give him access to this one. Uh, this is my interlock breaker. And so here is my main up top. Basically, as you can tell, this thing, this metal piece right here is your actual interlocking device. It slides up and down. Uh, as you can tell right now, it will not slide up because my main power is on. So this top generator uh, breaker right here for the uh, actual generator to be plugged in, this will not turn on because this piece is in the way it will not slide up. So I'm not going to do it right this moment. Uh, you can check for further videos later on, but what you would do is slide off your main. That would allow this to travel up because this main will be over here. This travels up. This breaker is now allowed to be turned on. So before you turn this on, you would just shut off all of your other breakers, slide this up, turn this uh, breaker on, and then you start individually picking which items you want, which area of the house you want. And just down below there is where I actually have our, uh, our this one is a Generac, but it's the actual breaker for the cord, as you can see underneath it here. Let's see here, it's got the uh, your typical four prong there. So basically what that does is you start your generator out well outside of the house. Uh, everybody's got different opinions. I like to put mine at a minimum of 10 feet away from any house, any open window or anything. You start your generator up, let it run for just a little bit, plug in your four prong, uh, the 240 into the generator, put your other end into this hole right here. This in turn is powered by this interlock generator, uh, the breaker. So once this is on, uh, that system works. So once again, a very, very brief and very generic uh, overview of the interlock generator hookup. If you need any further questions, uh, you can post comments in the section below. I can answer any uh, simple questions for you. But uh, basically, that's how all that system works in a brief nutshell. Uh, there's also plenty of other really good informative videos out there. And uh, please make sure to contact your uh, your local electrician to do this for you. Uh, obviously, messing with electrical work is dangerous not only to you, but also to others out there that can come behind you to try to do some work.